In the last video, we talked about how to create a Docker Swarm cluster. And in this video, let's move on to the actual deployment of MongoDB as services in uh, our Docker Swarm cluster. Let's start off by checking the status of our uh, Swarm cluster by issuing Docker node list on the manager node. As, uh, as you remember, this upper left uh, upper left corner terminal is still uh, dispatching the commands to the manager node. That's why this command is successfully running and showing us uh, the status of uh, every node. And uh, let's let's then clear the terminal. Uh, the next step is to uh, uh, add a Docker Compose file that declare uh, that declares our uh, MongoDB service in it. Uh, let's name the Mongo. Uh, let's name the uh, compose file as MongoDB. Uh, let's name it Mongo Replica YAML. We will be using Docker Compose version three point seven, uh, which is also uh, the latest version of Docker Compose file, and uh, uh, the services will be declared under services section. And in this YAML. Uh, we only want to define uh, one single MongoDB service. Let's name it Mongo1 uh, and let's use image Mongo version 4. And I always uh, recommend using one specific uh, image version because it uh, otherwise it might break your application uh, every time the latest image version has bumped. So the next thing that that's very important is to uh, declare the ports. So since MongoDB as default uh, runs uh, the service at port two seven zero one seven, that's uh, that's the port that uh, that is uh, uh, exposed uh, from the container. But um, you can expose it. Uh, to any port that uh, on, on a, a swarm network here, I would still be using a two seven one zero one seven. But just note that you can change it to any port that you want. And uh, uh, next, let's define two volumes uh, that will uh, that will be used uh, for the Docker container to write data to. Uh, the first volume, uh, uh, I'll uh, let's name it Mongo Data One. And let's map it to data DB. Uh, that's where Mongo service writes, uh, stores its data to. And uh, the second uh, volume, uh, let's name it to Mongo config one, and let's map it to uh, data config DB. That's where, uh, by default, uh, the Mongo DB service stores its config files to. And uh, uh, let's also uh, deep, uh, Define the deployment details uh, for this service, and uh, the the mode for this uh, this service uh, will be replicated, and uh, the replica number of this service uh, will be one. Uh, and I I think those two these two options are actually these uh, these values are actually the default value of the options, but still let's make it explicit. And uh, uh, next up, let's. Uh, Put a restart policy here, uh, so this service will be um, restarted every time uh, it fails. And uh, uh, next, uh, and uh, next, uh, the last uh, constraint we want to put uh, for the deployment is a, a placement constraint. Uh, I I want to uh, I want this service only. Uh, run only to run uh, the manager node. Uh, in this way, uh, because we only have one manager node, so the service will only have one instance running at the same time. That means uh, it only has one running container. Constraints, and uh, you need to specify node role equals to manager. So that's it for the uh, for the de uh, definition of the service. And uh, next, let's define uh, the volumes because we we have used two volumes in the service uh, declaration. And here we need to say 
uh, we used two volumes and let's create those vo uh, volumes uh, when uh, when the service is deployed. Those is these names are the same name we used uh, above. So let's save and quit uh, from the file. And next, let's deploy the services using Docker Stack Deploy by specify uh, by specifying this uh, Mongo replica YAML file, um, replica YAML, and let's name this service as MongoDB. And there you go. Now we have a Docker service running, and uh, uh, this since we have exposed the service at port two seven zero one seven, so you can access the service through any any IP address. Um, basically, any Docker Swarm node's uh, IP address. Uh, let's check the IP addresses for uh, all of our um, Docker Swarm nodes. So you can actually use any of these uh, IP addresses to access the service. So in, in your production environment, because you don't have Docker machine uh, command and you are not supposed to use this, so you can just issue um, on Linux like uh, say uh, if config or this kind of uh, uh, command line tool to find out the IP address of your actual host. Or you can always use the manager nodes IP address. So let's copy. Let's copy maybe the uh, worker number two's IP address, and uh, uh, you can actually use any kind of MongoDB client uh, to connect to the uh, uh, MongoDB service to test it. Uh, here in my case, I am using a application called Robo Three T, um, and uh, let's add a new connection. So let's create a connection. This connection is name is say MongoDB, uh, and the address is the IP address that I copied from the worker uh, number two, and the port is two seven zero one seven. And let's save this and let's try connecting to the service. Okay, so this already shows uh, the, the the connection is successful because you can actually check uh, all this information inside. Uh, the the MongoDB service, the MongoDB instance. So this is uh, the end of this uh, part two video, and the next video we will be deploying more than one instances of MongoDB.